Hello, my name is Steve Elfrink from Omterra. Uh, today in this video, I'm just going to share a little bit about myself, kind of my journey, how I got here, and a little bit on how I work with folks. So first of all, important to know, um, this might sound a little out there, but I'm you. I've, I've been sitting on the other side of this as someone who has dealt with uh, complex PTSD, dissociative PTSD, anxiety, depression, uh, spent time in a psych ward for a suicide attempt, spent time in a halfway house, uh, spent time in a drug treatment center. Um, so kind of been through the ringer of life and all kind of started with early childhood trauma, specifically with birth trauma and then different levels of abuse as uh, early, within the early childhood frame and then up into my, through my teens actually. So a deep history of trauma and then a deep history of trying to crawl out of it. And yeah, so learned a lot. I learned a lot. Part of that was what doesn't work. And what I found didn't work right off the bat was Western psychiatry, talk therapy, medications. None of that ever worked for me because I would have this ongoing, you know, maybe feel a little better and then everything would start come, come tumbling back for me which would be, again, that depression and anxiety, suicidal ideation, intrusive thoughts, all that fun stuff that we deal with when we have trauma. And I also tried pretty much every known psychedelic known to man in different combinations, working with uh, psilocybin, LSD, peyote, ibogaine, MDMA, uh, pretty much every psychedelic, every psychedelic combination, large doses, combining stuff together. And also through that effort, I would, you know, have these epiphanies, downloads, insight coming out of my ears, non-dual consciousness, unity consciousness, and beautiful insight, beautiful wisdom, beautiful experiences, and also many, many challenging experiences, kind of the poster child for the proverbial bad trip. Even that bad trip was related all to trauma, looping and trauma. Um, yeah. Challenging, very challenging experiences with psychedelics. And then for me, what really kind of set me on a path of symptom resolution was more of this body-focused or somatic work, um, specifically PSIP, was what really uh, shifted everything for me. As far as really just diving deep into the somatic process, getting to the core, I call it the core of the core of the core, where the anguish, the abandonment, the I don't exist, all these just really deep entrenched feeling states and emotional states and held reactivity live within the body. So for me, my life was really focused always on the mind, spiritual experiences, trying to figure it out, trying to understand. And what I've discovered after 50 plus years and then 30 plus years of working on myself, that Really, it's not going to happen up here, but it's going to happen throughout your, your entire body. And really important for folks with trauma. We all have trauma to some degree, but eventually find a path back to body. You know, coming home to body is what I call it. For a lot of us, the uh, body wasn't safe. And it's now important to know, now it's safe to come home to body. No more threat. <clears throat> and also within this framework, it's important for anyone out there to understand that there's nothing wrong with you. You know, the anxiety, the depression, the suicidal ideation, whatever you're dealing with, it's all a biological response to something that happened in a maladaptive environment for you. So you're not doing anything wrong other than bodies trying to process what it's been trying to process for years, decades for some folks. Body seeks homeostasis, wants to be a, find a, just a normal baseline. So no matter what you're doing, body's always trying to move whatever's in there out. And there's a whole more deeper video on all that. So back to myself, how do I work? So one thing important about how do I work with folks, a big one is to know that, you know, for me, I'm not this guy sitting on a chair looking down at you. Um, I consider this work more of a equal partnership as far as, hey, someone who been, has been through the trenches and now helping you also to kind of get through those trenches. So we're kind of, I always tell people we're kind of walking through this path together. So side by side versus any higher, hierarchical, if that's the right word, um, positioning here. 
Also important for folks to know that, you know, super important with this model, especially with PSIP and with psilocybin also, but it's just the creating, you know, the set and setting and part of set and setting, that setting is the safety of the container, the safety and trust of working with me. So it's super important, you know, super important, whether it's you're going to decide to work with me or some other facilitator, that there's a sense of, you know, sense of trust, sense of safety, sense of this person can take me where I need to go. And then related to that is one thing I assure all clients throughout, you know, initial consultation, and then also during uh, sessions, uh, something they'll frequently hear is, for me is, I can get you through anything. Nothing's going to freak me out. Nothing's going to concern me. Nothing's going to upset me. Nothing's going to trigger me. Whatever's, you know, whatever arises during a session, I'll just hold with grace and compassion and hold safe space for you. So I mean that with, you know, every fiber of my being that whatever shows up for a client, I, I can get them through it. And part of that is just my own work of doing literally hundreds of sessions. And some of those, a big percentage were just off the charts awful. And awful, but in a way, a beautiful way also, because it just moves stuff out, but it's very, very painful at times and very intense. So part of it is a sense of empathy of I've been there, you know, and I'll never know exactly what someone's been through, but you know, there's some level of familiarity with some of these places as far as the terror, the panic, the anguish, the I don't exist place, the I'm going insane place. I've hit that, I've been there. Pure terror, pure panic, I've been there. So part of it for me is being there allows me to be there with others if that makes sense. But that's something to take great pride in that, yeah, I can get someone through anything. And I, I own that and proud of it again. So that's a lot. And hopefully this gives a little more sense of about me, my work, who I am. And also just adding to the who I am, uh, a dad of four. So I also have this normal life of four kids, ages currently, uh, 14 through 22. And just for activities, love camping, hiking, backpacking, uh, play didgeridoo, gong, uh, very heavy, heavily into art, photography. So there's uh, normal Steve and then therapy Steve, pretty much the same person though, which I also appreciate. So anyway, I really appreciate your time, your time listening to me through this, and I'm happy to spend more time with you on a consultation. Again, I don't charge for that initial consultation. And typically I don't charge for additional consultations. It's really important for me that someone feels comfortable with committing to work with me and all their questions are answered and they feel comfortable. So reach out if you have questions, happy to talk with you. Take care everyone and stay safe out there.